eBay sellers, it's Suzanne. And in this video, I wanted to share something with you that maybe you didn't know. I'm seeing a lot of questions on my Facebook group and through email about changes in eBay policy, especially managed payments and those types of issues where you guys just aren't informed about what's going on. And maybe you didn't know there is a place where you can go catch up on all the eBay announcements and stay informed because I see how frustrated you are and you're struggling because some of these changes are just hitting you out of the blue and eBay has been announcing them for months or maybe even years. So as a business owner, as an eBay seller, it's very important that you stay informed so that you can run your business correctly and be as successful as possible. And without the proper information, you're just fighting a losing battle. You are swimming upstream and it's very difficult. So everything is easier with the right information and the right tools to run a business. So let me explain about eBay announcements. The first thing I want to show you is the official page on eBay.com where all of the announcements are found. It's never a good idea to get your information from someone on social media who said they heard something or they thought something or this is the way it used to be. Go to the official page on eBay and read the information yourself. Word of mouth is not the way to get your information because eBay changes so frequently. You want to do your own due diligence to keep up with what is current. So just to show you, here's the page and the announcements are chronologically ordered so that the most recent announcement is first. So you can go back through the announcements to see the official word from eBay. And these announcements go back to 2007. So if you click the last button here, you'll see how far back they go. And all the information is there for anyone, anytime. There is a search feature on the announcements homepage. So let's put in managed payments because that is the hot topic right now. This video is being recorded in January of 2021. So if we search for managed payments, there are 26 results and they go back to April of 2019 on the spring seller update. So right here is where they start. So if somehow you've missed all these announcements, you can go to the eBay announcement page and read all of them. My best advice is if you are just getting transitioned to managed payments, you don't need to read all of these, but you do need to go back far enough to read what's current because managed payments has evolved over all this time, but eBay has been keeping us informed with announcements. So if you've been away from eBay and you're back now, or somehow you just missed this, all this information is there for you. And this can apply to any topic that you are confused about that eBay has made a change with because I've been on eBay since 2003 and they are very good about advance notice of major changes. They'll start talking about it months or years ahead of time to get everybody on board so that it's an easy transition. So if you find yourself thinking, what is this? I've never heard of this. I don't know what this is. I'm confused. You can go to the eBay announcements page, search for your topic, and find all of that information right there, 
readily available. The next thing you can do to stay informed and be as up-to-date as possible with announcements is to configure your seller hub and put the announcements at the top. So this is your seller hub with all these different boxes where you can move them around and put them where you want them. There's a little line of text on the far right, right under seller help that says customize. And when you click that, you get a menu where you can select what information you want to show on your seller hub. And you can see that selling announcements is one of those choices. So I'm willing to bet some of you out there that have seller hub didn't even know you could customize it and didn't even know that this option for announcements was available. So if we look closer, you can see at the top of each of these boxes are arrows that can take you backwards or forwards or an X where you can remove that box. You can either use that tool to move them around or you can drag to rearrange the boxes. So what I do is put my selling announcements right at the top on the right hand side and I've trained my eyes to look at that every single time I log in to eBay multiple times a day because you don't know when an announcement's going to pop up, when something's going to happen and there's going to be a glitch or shipping labels aren't printing or eBay, God forbid, is down for a few hours and that has happened. This is where that information is going to go. So rather than jumping on Facebook or your eBay groups and saying, is anyone else having trouble with international labels? Is anybody else's pictures not loading? You can go right here and see if there's an announcement about it. And a lot of times there is. So you're saving yourself so much time because you're not relying on other people to feed you that information. And it's accessible to you. If it's a big enough problem, eBay's going to put an announcement because they don't want five zillion phone calls about this problem. They're going to put an announcement and say, hey, we're aware of it. We're working on it. And we'll let you know when it's fixed. So. My best advice is to add this selling announcements box to the top of your seller hub and get into the habit of looking at it every single time you log in so that you can be up to date as to what's going on if there are any issues or problems or something new that's coming that you should be aware of because I hate to say this and sound mean, but ignorance is not an excuse. When you're running a business, ignorance is not an excuse. And eBay is giving us several ways to stay informed of changes and problems and policies and everything that's going on. And now after watching this video, you are informed and you know where to go to find that information. Okay, now you are an informed seller and you know where to find these announcements and updates. Maybe you knew this, maybe you didn't, but I felt compelled to explain where this information is so that you can have access to it and not have to wait for it to be discussed in groups or to wait for other people on social media to answer a question that you could find easily yourself because I'm all about empowering you and giving you the tools you need to be successful in this business. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day on eBay. Bye.